what's up time keepers me time here today i'm going to be bringing you a breakdown of xbox's e3 press conference for 2018 hopefully you guys had the chance to see it if not this is going to be a breakdown of my favorite moments of the games we saw at a uh, xbox uh, press conference that was featured today while i'm recording it i'm doing it a bit different from the past years i've done it usually what i've done in the past is i was watching uh, pretty much Rewatched or watched the press conference and then recorded my reaction at the same time But this time I'm doing it a bit different I watched the press conference already and I'm just gonna go through the games I enjoyed the most at the press conference giving a bit of detail in my personal opinion on each game and uh, Yeah, so if you're ready, I'm ready. So let's just jump right in. All right So the first game that's featured uh, which is a uh, sort of happened in the uh, uh, When Halo 5 was announced we got Halo Infinite, uh, which was shown for the first game, basically as soon as the uh, conference started. It's a very nice little game. Halo, like uh, before, before I start, Halo's, uh, sorry, Xbox is not really a console. I played in the past. I, I, I did play, sorry, in the past, but it's not a console I've uh, presently owned. So it's uh, Halo's never been one of the series I follow, but it does look very interesting. It's taking Halo back to um, Master Chief because one of the biggest complaints from uh, Halo 5 was Master, you didn't play enough of Master Chief. This time around, it's, uh, it's, it's mentioned that you are taking more control of Master Chief, or exclusively, I think. I'm, it wasn't quite mentioned yet. There wasn't any release date for Halo Infinite yet, but we do see in the trailer itself, there's a new art style for the trailer, it, for the Halo series itself, which 343 wanted to do. But also, they're using a new engine called the Slips slip space engine which they created exclusive for this game for uh, halo infinite so so that's the bi the big of it for halo infinite if you want more information of course check out the full trailer under on, on the xbox uh, youtube page or uh, anywhere you get your videos the next big thing that was announced on the xbox stage was actually an announcement for that i enjoy keep in mind these are my favorite uh, things uh, was Fallout 76. Now I will, I won't talk, I won't talk more about it because there is the B Bethesda video I'm going to do. Keep an eye out. There's a lot of detail revealed in the trailer. Go watch it, the one for the Xbox conference. But uh, I will talk about it when we get to the Bethesda E3 press conference uh, favorite moments. So definitely check out that video once it comes out. But it does look really amazing. The next game that got my attention in the Xbox press conference was Mextra Exodus, which I think they revealed last year, if I remember correctly. And the vi the trailer shows a lot of new gameplay. This game looks very incredible, uh, even even better than last year or the year before when they showed uh, footage. This is actually new gameplay of the trailer, and we get a sort of a window of release date, which is 2019, which is uh, the biggest window <laughs> you can get. Uh, it looks, uh, having played just a bit of the other Metro games, I do find that this looks, of course, a lot better and a lot bigger enemies and stuff like that. Like I said, I'm not very familiar, but it's definitely a game that I'm going to keep an eye on because I'm, I'm assuming it is coming to uh, PS4 and uh, PC and all those things. Uh, the next game that got my attention, but I still, I this game also, I won't talk about it too much, is Division 2. It is mentioned in, uh, with a good portion gameplay trailer, which you should go check out. Uh, but it is uh, we got a, a lot of new details, but I will keep it for the Ubisoft press conference So definitely go check out the video if you want to check it out from there But it, it is uh, it looks a lot better than the, the other division and it's a, a fantastic new location that we don't see enough of so Definitely keep an eye out for that and we'll see we'll talk about it more in the Ubisoft press conference now, one thing I haven't mentioned a lot uh, since I've started making YouTube videos, I've always been a big fan of uh, skateboarding. And when they started showing the trailer for Session, which is a skateboarding game, I think they started announcing a year ago, not necessarily at, at Xbox, but it, it was shown. Uh, I think I have saw I saw a couple of YouTubers get like an alpha pre uh, like build of the game to show off like as a demo and stuff like that. But Session, yeah, is a new a new skate game that you everybody's going to be checking out. Hope, uh, hopefully. Uh, no, not a lot of people have a sour taste after uh, Tony Hawk 5. It was very interesting to see because the graphics look amazing for a skate game, of course. Any any publisher these days that are trying to produce a AAA game have usually good graphics. Not all of them, it's not all, you're not obligated, but uh, this definitely, uh, at the beginning I really thought that this one was Skate 4, but it wasn't its session. It's definitely a trailer you should go check out uh, uh, in its entirety. It does look interesting if you're uh, interested in, in Tony Hawk or Skate 4 or you're just a, someone that enjoys skateboarding a lot, modern or uh, past iteration of skateboarding games, definitely go check out the trailer for that because it does look very cool and definitely a game I'm going to keep my eye on. 
one of the biggest new reveals that I actually n didn't even hear they were making another one of, and this was one of my favorite game the year it came out, was Dying L is Dying Light 2. At first, when the trailer started, I wasn't sure what it is, but then I heard one of those zombie scream uh, you get like uh, during the day or the night, um, uh, which I I've played recently to finish the the, the expansion, and I, I still remember that noise clearly. And when I heard it, it was clearly that's that was the game they were showing, and I'm happy to say that Dying Light 2 will be a new game a new a new location uh they don't actually name the location unless i missed it but yeah dying light 2 with which comes with improved parkour system uh which also comes uh with a lot new multiple factions that you're going to have to try to keep happy sort of uh i'm assuming sort of a like a fallout style like fallout uh, 4 style but each faction has their own thing they like dislike and so on and so forth there wasn't any release date but the biggest feature that they showed on the xbox stage probably going to be the the one of the first open world games to my knowledge well that will have actually a humongous impact will have like the missions the way you carry out the missions for different factions and stuff will have world changing decisions uh, how every the entire environment evolves literally evolves after each event and stuff like that so that's going to be really fun to see uh it's a very very good twist very Awesome new twists Please for the well. Dying Light world. And of course, there's a. Uh, hopefully, we'll see a lot of different new types of zombies and um, new uh, night night zombies, of course, because they did mention a couple like uh, where the, that's where it gets rough during the night, like it should. And uh, definitely, we'll keep an eye out for that uh, for sure, because this is. This is one of a game that I have kept coming back to over and over when it came out, and it's definitely where if you haven't played Dying Light, the first one, it almost got like not noticed by anyone, and I'm happy that game got a lot of it was very well received by a lot of, by a lot of people, and you see now that a lot of people are releasing almost the same time that that uh, Dying Light, the first one, did when it came the year it came out. Uh, there's like a, right now uh, all the a lot a couple more games were announced for there I think there's three big titles right now coming out on February 22nd 2019 you have Di Day, Days Gone uh, there was a couple more games I don't remember here but you definitely can check it out there once you get there so that's it for Dying Light hopefully you guys are excited as, as I am to check out when that game comes out uh, another game I'm not too familiar but I know it's a big one that uh, a lot of people have their eye on but I still want to mention because it, it is a very interesting game that keeps the keeps the Xbox not necessarily keeps the Xbox going, but I feel like it's a staple of the of the of the Xbox that comes back every so often. Well, first off, they started teasing out with uh, Gears Pops and Gears Tactics, which is sort of a new uh, turn based Gears Tactics, which is a turn based game, and then Gears Pop is with the uh, the the people from Pop, with you know little figures. Uh, so the game's going to be going to look in that art style. Thought at first that that's it. That's all they were going to show and i was i was sort of angry for uh, getting like pissed off for the people in the theater there because like i if through if it if you show that to a true xbox fan without showing gears of war 5 there would have been a not a ride but it would have been like an outcry like why are you showing stupid gears of war like lead offs or whatever you want to call them and not show a gear of war 5 but they did they did announce gear of gears of war 5 which uh, mentions gonna it should be out in 2019 next so next year and um, it takes a new approach. It follows the story of I think I think they were saying Kate. I'm not familiar with the the the, the characters in the game, but I think they were saying Cage or Kate or something like that. But uh, definitely keep an eye out. Go check out the trailer for that also. Another cool game that I've I started hearing about a couple years ago, and they finally showed. I think this is the first trailer. I don't remember seeing anything else from it except for a logo art style stuff like that. It's Cyber Cyberpunk 2077 which is one of CD Projekt's red other big project after The Witcher they were working on. So I'm happy to see that, that it's finally getting a trailer. We didn't get any release date for uh, as of yet. Some people are saying uh, max June 2019. What I've saw on, like, with just searching quick for information on the game, they were talking about and uh, middle mid-2019, but it's not an official date, so don't quote me on that or anything. Cyberpunk 2077 takes place in Night City, so it's not, I'm, I, don't, I don't know if it's, uh, it's going to take references off actual CDs or anything like that. Uh, there's, you start it off, the video starts off, and the trailer starts, uh, starts off in a metro so i don't know if that indicates it's going to be a new york style city but everything's it is it's cyberpunk it's a super futuristic punkish if you saw if you saw um, ready player one movie it's very echoes of that pretty much but even 
heavy on the punk <laughs> and cyberpunk, of course. Uh, so it's definitely, hopefully, I, I think this is supposed to be an open world game. So definitely going to keep an eye out for that because it's um, on uh, open world games. I, I'm not, I'm not usually a big fan of uh, like sort of uh, high creature fantasy type stuff, but stuff that like alternative futures were take care the place on Earth cyberpunk style and stuff like that because it it's cyberpunk 2077 so it takes it is taking place during the year 2077 so we'll definitely have to see how that turns out it does look very very interesting so definitely check out the tr the full trailer for that now another game that was uh shown uh one of the one i think this one's one of the last games showed on the xbox press conference stage was just cause 4 so there this game was leaked a couple days ago on steam there was like a page that popped up for it, but it, it, they took it down right away. They, they just keep pumping these games out. It's fun because if you look at the trailers, it's it's, it's what you expect from a from a Just Cause game. It's jam packed full of action. It's uh, there's a lot of uh, what seems to be a lot of advanced tech in the game. A lot more than the uh, the Just Cause Three, which was a, a very awesome game. I've never got a chance to finish, which I still got it, but just never had a chance to completely complete the game. Uh, and lucky enough, the game's coming out December 4th, 2018. So this year is going to be jam-packed for new games. I have to say, if if we uh, reference ourselves, like if Fallout 76 does come out this year, winter, autumn, winter is going to be a very jam-packed season for video games so far. And I don't know if I'm going to have enough money in my wallet to buy all the, the games coming out. So one last little game I, I saw in the trailer uh, that you guys can definitely check it out because it's free, actually. It's called The Awesome Adventures of Captain Spirits. This You're playing... Uh, what the trailer shows off of this game is you're playing as a young kid. Well, what they showed in the trailer. It could be different from what actually shows in the trailer compared to what it actually uh, plays the game actually comes out on june 26 and it's free it says 100 the trailer said 100 percent free so i don't know if it's a just a single episode game 100 percent free or it's like a, a five part series free or you get this five parts and the first episode's free i don't know it just said 100 percent free so i'm assuming the entire if we go by what it says it's, it's it is 100 percent free of nothing whatsoever uh, it's not going to cost anything and it's from the people that make it's from the people that make life is strange in that and it's also part of that universe which is fun uh, i'm happy to see that don't nod when they when they started working on life is strange they seemed like they were a very small studio at first i'm happy to see that don't nod is getting a lot bigger because they they just released vampire or vampire whatever you want to call it which i th i saw a lot of people going back and forth that it would if it was a good game if it wasn't that good of a game what i, I haven't ch had a chance to play it it does seem like a good game uh, a lot of people are saying some of the fighting is a bit clunky in Vampire, but that's that's neither here or there. So yeah, the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit taking place in the universe of Life is Strange by the Don't Nod Entertainment uh, coming out June 26 and it's free. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the coverage of E3 2018, the Xbox briefing uh, press conference. This this was my favorite parts. Definitely a lot of cool games. I'm happy that we uh, we got a little taste uh, before uh, Bethesda showcase for Fallout 76. I know I didn't talk about it that much, but I, I am happy that we got a little glimpse of it. There's, there's, that's going to be a full show on its own. There was so many details revealed, but like I said, you can go either check out the trailer yourself. Uh, to reveal yourself or just wait for my bethesda or any other video of course so my my I, honestly my biggest takeaways for the xbox press conference is of course the halo uh, what let's go with try to find exclusive here like gear 5 uh, session i think it's a launch exclusive if i remember correctly halo infinite one thing i've noticed with the xbox press conference this year is uh, they were they go, of course they went heavy again with the exclusive exclusive there was a lot of world premiere uh, console launch exclusives there's a lot of there's a couple new uh, exclusive game which uh, honestly xbox needs to compete with P ps4 i know some of you're gonna say like i'm sold on ps4 of course ps4 has been i've been on there since ps1 uh, xbox no 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 offense to xbox xbox has uh, good graphics it has everything it has game pass it has uh backwards compatibility where you can put your old cds in works and then uh, i think you can like just never use the cd again which that's an awesome feature and i wish those features were on ps4 that would just make the ps4 even better because honestly the ps now or no was it P yeah ps now honestly i don't enjoy because the streaming feature does i per i i have like pretty good internet and i've tried it in the past and it, it it's a bit laggy i like it's almost like if i was tr trying to do it with my um my ps vita connecting or it just had like i don't know if it, it, it updated to the years like i haven't tried it in a year or so so it might have 
have better uh, connectivity and stuff like that. But I do feel like what Xbox is doing on that side, Sony could use a lot of that on their side. And even, for, for God's sake, just be able to change names in in the profile. Because I do, uh, right now I'm using my ga my gamer tag. I've been using almost since the beginning of whenever they started using uh, accounts. And um, Xbox is just cool that you can change the name. And it just costs $10 if you want to change it another time after that. So you don't get troll people and stuff like that. So, yeah, my big takeaway, I don't, they did have some exclusives that are going to be good for Xbox. I don't think, unfortunately, I don't think a lot of them are going to be heavy hitters to justify uh, buying an Xbox. Though, because the fact of the matter is, you can have all the best graphics you want. But if, if, you're, if people, the, I'm talking more of the mainstream people here, honestly, if... Uh, one thing I've noticed is a lot of well, a lot of people notice this is where, where Call usually where Call of Duty and Battlefield are, which we did see Battlefield in this trailer, honestly, but it wasn't it wasn't the main focus. It was just a small little trailer, like it's coming to Xbox compared to where where we're probably and we're probably going to see a lot of uh, what is it Black Ops 4 on on PS4 probably because this is where the big, bigger console is. And I do feel like the mainstream looks at looks at Call of Duty because unfortunately Call of Duty is the biggest seller game among casual players or uh, non-in-depth uh, gaming community members or I don't know what you want to call them. No one no, don't want to offend anybody here just people that don't like follow gaming like me or you or whatever every day of the week or every day talk about video games and stuff like that. People that just play with their friends. Unfortunately, that's where the PS4 is. Sorry, I'm going a bit a bit, a bit long on, on this explanation here. But I do feel between Xbox and PS4 right now, what's happening is, uh, like, of course, right now, PS4 is out selling. I think it's 2 to 1 or 3 to 1 right now on the Xbox, over the Xbox, even if the Xbox has true 4K rendering and 60 frame per second because of the Xbox One X. I do feel like because, as a matter of fact, Play PlayStation has the bigger exclusive, the nicer exclusives, uh, like uh, God of War, like D Days Gone. Days Gone did get a little bit of flack recently for being, some people say it looks like another zombie game or, or they're actually called Freakers. But it, it, it is another big game coming out, and there's there's a couple other games. Samurai game, I just can't remember the the name right now. They're like PlayStation, and probably they're gonna announce new games too that we haven't. We already saw a couple. I think uh, Twin Mirror was announced, uh, another exclusive, which looks like an awesome big game. So yeah, PlayStation. I don't. I I'm not a professional usually on estimating these kind of things, but I do feel like I haven't I haven't seen all the the, the other conferences yet. So it might be like this is gonna be the best conference ever. But something tells me, like, Xbox brought a lot of cool stuff, a lot of enhanced stuff to their console. I, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to talk, like, it, it's win or lose or stuff like that. Because Xbox is still, have, still has its smart, its people that play the, play the game there. I had an Xbox for almost a year until I, I really wasn't even playing. It was just my Netflix box after, uh, after a year because I just... There wasn't any interesting game I could see after Quantum Break. I didn't find anything other interesting on that console. And Xbox, uh, I don't, I don't know, I don't know what else to explain about Xbox. I, I do feel they did very well. There was a lot of pop to their game. They did have a lot of uh, world premieres, which I, th I think they should have. I don't know if they were, they were able to to leverage it the other way, but instead of having more world pre premiere, which doesn't make your Xbox better, it just shows that you have more money to get the world premieres to concentrate more on getting more exclusive games to your console. I think that that's what they should have worked on. Which I, I will give it to them. They they did they did purchase five new studios to help them out to get ex exclusive games, which that's what they need. So at least they're going in the right direction to get there. So we'll have to see. Uh, a lot of people, of course, are, we're talking about uh, maybe they're the next generation of console. Like they keep mentioning every time, like the next generation of console is going to be the last generation of console. Who knows? Maybe on, on the next Xbox iteration, we'll see a lot more exclusive from those five new studios that Xbox has purchased, Microsoft has pur purchased. And uh, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this small little of recap video of my favorite moments of the Xbox press conference. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below what was your favorite game of the Xbox press conference and definitely go check out all the other press conference video uh, that we'll be releasing very soon. Hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, follow me everywhere, me time gamer, Twitter, Twitch, Facebook, Instagram, and right here, YouTube.com for slash me time gamer, where I post a new video every day of the week, Monday, Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern time. So thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one. Keep on keeping on.